Let us rejoice and be Christ having risen from the dead. Yes. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Oh, yes. 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 Show us, O Lord, your mercy. Thank you. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant we pray, Almighty God, that we who have been renewed by pastoral remedies, transcending the likeness of our earthly parentage, may be transformed in the image of our heavenly Maker. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After their release, Peter and John went back to their own people and reported what the chief priests and elders had told them. And when they heard it, they raised their voices to God with one accord and said, Sovereign Lord, maker of heaven and earth, and the sea, and all that is in them, you said by the Holy Spirit, through the mouth of our father David, your servant, why did the Gentiles rage and the peoples entertain folly? The kings of the earth took their stand and the princes gathered together against the Lord and against his anointing. Indeed, they gathered in this city against your holy servant, Jesus, whom you anointed, Herod and Pontius Pilate, together with the Gentiles and the peoples of Israel, to do what your hand and your will had long ago planned to take place. And now, Lord, take note of their threats, and enable your servants to speak your word with all boldness as you stretch forth your hand to heal and signs and wonders are done through the name of your holy servant, Jesus. As they prayed, the place where they were gathered shook and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and continued to speak the word of God with boldness. The word of the Lord. A responsorial song. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. Why do the nations rage and the peoples utter folly? The kings of the earth rise up, and the princes conspire together against the Lord and against his anointed. Let us break their fetters and cast their bonds from us. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. He who is thrown in heaven laughs, the Lord derides him. Then in anger he speaks to them. He terrifies them with his wrath. I myself have set up my king on Zion, my holy mountain. I will proclaim the decree of the Lord. Bless the Lord who take refuge in the Lord. The Lord said to me, You are my son. This day I have begotten you. Ask of me, and I will give you the nations for an inheritance, and the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall rule them with an iron rod. You shall shatter them like an earthen dish. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. If then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. There was a Pharisee named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. He came to Jesus at night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God. 
For no one can do these signs that you are doing unless God is with him. Jesus answered and said to him, Amen, Amen, I say to you. Unless one is born from above, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man once grown old be born again? Surely he cannot enter his mother's womb and be born again, can he? Jesus answered, Amen, Amen, I say to you. Unless one is born of water and spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. What is born of flesh is flesh. What is born of spirit is spirit. Do not be amazed that I told you. You must be born from above. The wind blows where it wills, and you cannot hear the sound it makes. But you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good morning. Over the last few days, we have been able to see more and more random acts of violence, shootings, uh, youth out of control in big urban cities here in the United States of America. We see businesses closing, corporations being deemed as the enemy of the people. And not looking at the situations when a corporation says, you know, we can't make a profit. We haven't made a profit in over a decade. And the people blame the corporation. But no one ever looks at what's uh, going on with the high rise of theft in these areas. We are told that we have to accept mental illness as just the norm of tip. We are told that to honor a woman is to put a man dressed as a woman to receive an award. We are told that we are supposed to accept various deviant behavior as now the acceptable behavior. We are told that we have to give up certain things so we can save the planet, save the fish, save the mammals, save the invertebrates, save all this. And we can feel, as I so often hear from, from people, not only the laity, but I even hear from our brother priest, and to be honest with you, even I sometimes, well, more than sometimes, feel the same way. You sit there and you want to look at God, and there's been many a time when I've come into this church by myself and looked at God and said, man, what is going on? What are you doing? Where are you? Um, but I come back to this beautiful selection of the Acts of the Apostles. It's chapter 4, verses 23 through 31, which we heard today. After being told by those in charge to stop preaching the name of Jesus. Stop encouraging people to hold to a different standard, to strive to be better, to live virtuously. All these things are culminated in the Gospels. The apostles, the disciples, these first Christians, they go. And I'm sure, like us today, they may feel like fish out of water. I mean, let's face it, they started out with such a small, small number. And what does that small number do? Does it look around and see the world, the hierarchy, the government officials and say, well, we're so small, let us just be quiet. Let us just go our own way and be left alone. No. They gather together and pray. And they pray, God, give us or grant us the opportunities to grow the virtue of courage. And I put it that way specifically. I'm not asking God, give me courage, because he won't do that. God, give me or grant me the opportunity to be in situations where I must exercise the virtue of courage you've already given me in my baptism that you confirmed in me at confirmation. Place me in these situations where I have to exercise that virtue of courage. And the more I exercise the virtue of courage, 
the more I become courageous. It's easier. Oh, they could have gone quiet, gone underground. And they will eventually, to a certain degree. Later, as the persecutions become more intense. But at this plate, this stage in Christian's early development, what do they do? They pray for courage. So that they can, and they did, continue to go out each day and speak and proclaim boldly. Bold. They've spread the gospel. Why? Because a rather uncomfortable thing is said today in the gospel that Jesus himself affirmed. And that is, unless one be born again by water and the Spirit, one cannot enter the kingdom of God. That has been one of the driving forces of Catholicism to go out, to baptize, to confirm, so that every person can have an opportunity to enter the kingdom of heaven. There are people right now who need that witness again. We ourselves need that witness again. Let us today pray that men, women, Lay people, priests, bishops, brothers, sisters, monks, nuns, whomever. Let us pray that people will respond to the call of God, to that inner moving of the Holy Spirit, and will continue to speak and proclaim boldly the name of Jesus, the one name that can save us. Almighty God be with you. May he bless you, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. <clears throat> Coming together as one family in faith, we offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for our Holy Father, for Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way this day, and those who care for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. We pray for the needs of our brothers and sisters who watch this mass and video, for the needs of you here present in our church today. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. We pray that the infant of Prague will continue to watch over the finances of our parishes. May we always have enough for what we need. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude asking for Mary, his mother's intercession as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Through the earth and work with human hands will become for us the bread of life. Bless Bless you, God. God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For the vine and work of human hands will become our spirit for grace. Blessed be God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hand. For the praise and glory of his name. For our religion will love us all the church. Receive, O Lord, your praise and offerings of your exalted church. That you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit of perpetual happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, 
But in this time, above all, to love you more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and never pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more the Lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, we come with us with joy every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the ending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Zion in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Zion in the highest. You are indeed, holy Lord, the bonds of all holiness. You make holy, therefore, these gifts you pray by sitting down in the spirit upon them like the new ones. That they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he took willingly into his passion. He took bread out of his giving thanks for it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come in glory. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Thomas our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, who may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Therein and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil grace to grant peace in our days. Let us have your mercy, we may be always free from sin and saved from all the We await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will. To live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace to the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God. Build the Lamb of 
God, build him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Our hands are worthy to you, Lord God. Come and say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Jesus stood in the midst of his disciples and said to them, Peace be with you. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Grant me pray, Almighty God, that our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continuing effect in our minds and hearts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thank you. Prayer to St. Michael. Holy Mother, Holy Mother, the Archangel, defend us now. May our protection against the wickedness of sinners. May not be beaten in the name of the Christ. And the evil prince of the heavenly host, by the divine power, thrust in hell, saved from all deadly spirits, who wander through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The divine praise. <coughs> Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be you, most sacred heart. Blessed be you, most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus, most holy of the sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraphernalia. Blessed be the great mother of God, and Mary most holy. Blessed be your holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be your glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, the virgin and mother. Blessed be the same Joseph, the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be your eyes, and the saints, and the saints.